We turn now to an incredible survival story. A 12-year-old girl attacked by a black bear not once but twice, and she manages to get away. This morning, she describes those horrifying moments, and ABC's Lindsay Janice is here now with her story. Good morning, Lindsay. So Good glad morning, she's okay. Lara. She is such a brave little girl. Abigail Weatherall was mauled by a bear near her house in Cadillac, Michigan. Now, after three nights in the hospital, she is home with her family and talking about her ordeal exclusively to Good Morning America. I was terrified. Abby Weatherall says not only did she come face to face with a black bear like this one, she thought it would be the last face she'd ever see. I was just thinking, oh my gosh, this is, this is it. I'm, I'm not going to live. The 12 year old was jogging along this trail Thursday night when she ran across the several hundred pound animal. All of a sudden, the bear got me, put me down on the ground, and started like scraping me. And Clawing me. She says she scrambled to her feet and ran for her life, but the bear came back. So I was like petting it. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but I just thought maybe if I petted it, it would like me. Well, that did not work. <laughs> so then it just got me again, and then I heard that you should play dead. So that's what I did. And then it kind of went away, and then it looked back, then it just took off. I got up and I started running to my house. I think I was in shock when I first saw her. I was screaming, help, help, and crying. I didn't believe it was a bear attack until I seen the claw marks and the bruises. Weatherall suffered deep gashes to her thigh and back and cuts on her face, requiring more than 100 stitches. You know, it was, it was horrible. When the bear was attacking me, it's, I, couldn't, I couldn't feel it. I was just numb. This morning, she's not only relishing her big homecoming, she says she's ready to move on. It's over, but I'm not going to go in the woods without anybody, but I'm still going in the woods. I'm, I'm okay, and I'll be all right. Abby says in the moments after she was attacked, she worried about her school's soccer team, wondering how they were going to win if she wasn't able to play goalie because the other goalie, she explained, had sprained her wrist. And that speaks volumes about who this little girl is. Unbelievable. Wow. And the presence of mind of a member that she should play dead. Right. Incredible. Wow. And, and trying to pet the bear is just almost too much. So glad Amazing she's okay. Story. She better win that soccer game. <laughs> yeah, I think they will.